Hey there guys, it's Liger0459, I'm back with episode 2 of Arkham Knight, gonna jump right back into the story. Uh, last episode, we found out that Scarecrow was planning on detonating a giant fear toxin bomb. I uh, went to grab Ivy out of a supposed safe house that Scarecrow was at, didn't find him there, took Ivy to GCPD, and now we're here. So, let's see real quick. What's my next objective right now? Um, let's see. That's about the mutilated body. I already found one. That's Riddler. Because, you know, Riddler's always doing crap. And that's about finding all the firefighters. So, actually, first things first. I'm going to go ahead and go get the missing one fire firefighter. Not safe on these streets. I'll start by checking Dixon Dock West. That was their last reported location. Yeah, so I'm have to stay up all Batman. 17 over the course of the night, the you broke my... which is kind of hard because they don't give you all their locations all at once. It's kind of piecemeal. This thing's had a so, upgrade. air support saw it turned into some kind of tank. Nice. <laughs> don't get too close. Everybody's like, "Oh, hey, look, it's Batman! Get away from this car!" Actually, he's a little sluggish. Awesome. You want to thank me, Mr. Wayne? I try not to hurl off the road. I should have some more upgrades ready soon. Oops. Second sir. Per your request, I've created a series of diagnostic simulations to test the various functions of the suit and Batmobile. Simply select. Thank you, Alfred. Oops. I have messed that up. So I don't have an actual 360 controller, it's like one of those off-brand ones. It's got a little button kind of near where the, uh, kind of near where the uh, select key would be, which does weird things. Namely, it disables the, the digital, or the analog sticks and turns them just into digital, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Like the D-pad, basically. So. So if I'm uh, not paying attention to what I'm doing, all of a sudden it'll. Uh... Oops. Yeah, not too bad. There we go. That's one firefighter. Batman. God, it's really you. What happened here? Our truck was attacked. The riders dragged oh, us there out we go. one by one. We Texture's were loaded in finally. Taken away. Please, they're going to kill us. I'll save your crew. Wait here. I'll get a GCPD officer to pick you up. Okay, not bad. One upgrade point. Let's put it into... Critical Strikes. Because that makes everything better. Oh, goodness. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of people. I'll do that later. I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to sit here seeing that. Let's go and take a look at the mutilated, the mutilated body. Someone a body on Merchant Bridge. If I'm going to stop them, then I need to investigate the crime scene for clues. I love the grapnel boost. It gets better later. Uh, you know what? It's far. Let's call the Batmobile. Get this show on the road. Oh yeah, gotta love this car. It's not even really a car. People are right, it's a tank. Very well armored and Alpha, powerful I found tank. Another body. 
The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. See, the problem is that Alfred forgot to knock on wood when he thought it couldn't get any worse. You're all supposed to knock on wood Deformity before you say on the that. Left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. Okay, so one thing on the ear. Where's the next thing? Oh, there it is. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads Ophelia. Ooh, force them to eat their wedding ring. That's not in the good. That's not good at all. Ah, hip. There we go. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. You know, it's kind of creepy so are these how much information Batman can find get. A connection between the two really creepy. I found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. Okay. I'll be doing that all night, probably, too. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do the train yard. Enigma's planning something. He always is. Riddler's always planning something. He hates me at this point. I've embarrassed him in, in Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Yeah, he's not a fan. Ah, here we go. Why, hello there, detective. Yes, it's me, your most feared nemesis, the Riddler. Quote unquote, feared nemesis, by the way. For you have arrived early for this, the next generation of my riddles. I'm afraid the full particulars of my plan will have to remain unannounced for the time being. But I see no harm in rewarding the harmless little glimmer of initiative you have shown with a sneak peek, a preview, if you will. Of the kind of conundrum I have in store. Ah, <sighs> nothing he can be planning is good. He is a crazy dude. Well then, detective, it begins. You are staring, <clears throat> with stupefied incomprehension, at a mechanism I have calibrated to respond to an extremely precise radar pulse. In a moment, I will give you the decrypted code, Dark Knight. Oh, but first, I think we should run through the ground rules for tonight's festivity. Rule the... What? What? How did you... How, how did you... Solve tonight's very first riddle. <laughs> well done. Well, he always tries to play it off so well when you surprise him. Welcome to my racetrack, detective. You must complete three circuits of this gauntlet, finishing each before the time limit expires. <sighs> okay, let's see. Come now, detective. Let's put that grotesque eagle mobile to the test. Be ready, Dark Knight. There's more to this test than just going wrong. Really fast. Oops, I almost messed that one up. Tick-tock, detective. Tick-tock. Ah, uh, come on, Batmobile. You can do better than this. Oops. Can that ram shackle motor handle this? Yes, pretty well, actually. This thing is better than you think it is. Okay. It's that one. Jump it, pull it out, and land it. Faster, Dark Knight. Faster! Can those flickering, okay, here we go. synapses keep up with my automatically adjusting force? 
Yeah, he's he's kind of a cheater. Afterburners fail safe. I need the extra speed. Oh, is that oh. really as fast as it goes? I almost messed that one up so bad right there. That would have been embarrassing. Don't worry, it'll get embarrassing Let's here in a minute. That undeveloped brain of yours. You can only be near perfect for so long before you make a mistake. Attention, detective. Go left. Whoop. Yes, that just totally happened, by the way. Oh. Oh. You're close, detective. Don't fumble now. Don't fumble now. He doesn't think I'm going to make it. This is the last lap, too. That's the funny thing. Dark Knight, I'm stunned, humiliated, utterly bested. Time I gave up, I think. Why don't you head on your way? That could have been worse. That could have been a lot worse, actually. <laughs> Did you really believe that a challenge designed by me, the Riddler, would be quite so easy? Oh, Dark Knight. You sweet, naive sentinel. Of course it wouldn't. Still, thanks to your unrelenting desire to showboat, I now have several hundred terabytes worth of performance data relating to that latest model of rocket-powered hearse you're driving. Naturally, I shall be using this data to calibrate further challenges and trials. I'll see you soon, detective. Of course you will. More to come. And when I see you, I'm going to be beating your face in. Because Riddler, I don't like you. He's one of those really smart people that gets on my nerves. Because he's the kind of person who is smart and believes because he's smart, he's better than everyone. I'm heading to the clock tower to see what Oracle's found. It's not a very good uh, personality trait. I'm not catching you because I don't care about you. Not right now. Uh, where's the clock tower? Oops, my bad. Huh. It's definitely not responding to... Oh, because I don't know that ability yet. Never mind. Ah, the clock tower. It looks pretty nice. Identity confirmed. With the epic music the first time the back computer starts up. Okay, what do we got here? Something fear toxin related, it looks like. It looks like we've managed do to I come break it down. And start messing with all your stuff. You've and managed to reduce the stuff hanging on elements. strings is freaking out. In there that we can trace. What if we'd been looking at this the wrong way? Instead of searching for the toxin, what if we focus on the manufacturing process? Why didn't I see this? The reaction emits a unique radiation spike. Run a scan of the city for this energy signature. It will show where Scarecrow is creating his fear toxin. It'll take a few hours to bring the satellites into position. We don't have enough time. I'll repurpose the antenna at the movie studios. Bruce, I spoke to Dad. 
I hate lying to him. He'd kill me if he knew I was still in the city. He still blames himself for this. We'll stop, Scarecrow. Yep, we'll take him down. We have all night to do it. Jim, we've got a way to find out where Crane's working from. Thank God. What can I do? Get your men ready. Soon as we've got a location, I'll let you know. All right. Where am I going? That way? Hi, ho, silver. Away! Here we go. Yeah, look at that glide. It's perfect. Though, okay, now I'm slowing down. Never mind. Yep, I'm just gonna grab the Batmobile. It's smarter. Oh yeah, by the way, touching people with the Batmobile just kind of uh, knocks them out. It's, I guess it's like a taser or something like that? I don't know. The developers are kind of uh, weird with the whole Batman doesn't kill people thing. Driving around a giant car kind of innately means that uh, you're going to probably run into them. So. Oh, hey, look at that. Scarecrow's talking about me not killing people. That's slightly ironic. Textures are not loading in. Okay, well, now it doesn't matter. The generator's damaged. I need to bypass it and power the antenna directly. Hello again, Mr. Wayne. How can I help you this time? Is the power winch ready for deployment? It's 100% functional. Though no guarantees if you're intending to pull that car of yours up the side of a building. You read my mind. <laughs> it's in the job description, Mr. Wayne. Batwing's on its way. Awesome. Let's do this. Lucius is good. Very good. I just wonder where he comes up with some of these things. Some of these inventions are just totally out there. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's going to be epic. That's how. A secure anchor point to function. Once it's attached, just hit reverse. And please be careful with the car, Mr. Wayne. She's one of a kind. Um. Oh. Okay. It doesn't want to let me move until I fire the power wing. Oops! My bad! Oops, okay. Dumping a giant car onto the roof. Something tells me this is just usually not a good idea. But it's totally something Batman would do. Well, if Batman were real. Yeah. We'll just kind of let that one go, considering I am Batman right now and I'm totally doing it. So, I guess that makes sense. Do do do, Riddler Trophy. Hi, diddle diddle, detective. I see Darn it, Riddler. I don't care. Get out of here. Batman, when you left me battered and demeaned in Arkham City, mean to 
The anchor point is secured to the wall. I can't move it using the Whoop. Batmobile, but maybe it can hold the car's weight. There we go. Not bad. Held its weight like a boss. You left me to die in the asylum, but I will show you no such mercy. Thanks, Scarecrow. I appreciate it, bro. There we go. Good stuff. Oracle, I've restored power to the radio antenna. Great. I'm connecting now. I was just talking to Robin. I think you should too. Bruce, you need me out there. We can find Scarecrow faster together. What you're working on is more important, Tim. Can wait one night. Let me help. I've got this under control. <sighs> okay. Listen, try checking in once in a while. We're partners, remember? He just wants to help, you know. Is the antenna ready? Yeah, but we're going to need a microwave tower to triangulate Scarecrow's location. There's one at Falcone shipping in the cauldron. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Oracle. Let's see, which one is this Robin? Ah, oh, yeah, this Tim Drake. So what, there's Tim Drake, there's Jason Todd, and... Yeah, I can't remember who Nightwing is currently. It will not come to me. He was the first Robin. Jason Todd was the second, who got killed by Joker, in case you didn't know. Um, fun fact, he decided to go after Joker because he was tired of Batman not wanting to take him out uh, and actually kill him. And he didn't fare so well. And Joker kind of caught him and tortured him for like a year until he broke him, and then once he broke him, he killed him. It was really kind of crappy. Uh, but, and then, uh, so that gave way for Tim Drake to become the current iteration of Robin. Yeah, I don't even really need to do this. Let's see. Scarecrow's men are guarding the antenna. I need to evaluate the threat and plan my attack. Okay, let's see. Five armed men. Five soldiers, all armed. If I alert them, they'll kill the hostage. I need to reach a vantage point to draw them outside. Okay, it won't let me move where I want to right now. If I can separate them, they'll be easier to take down. Hold and select battering. like that it's like um we're gonna abandon you outside nbd nbd dude nbd scarecrow won't want to hear any excuses if we fail that's one do 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 that's two three more soldiers cake and a half they think they're safe if they stick together Lucius, I've got a hostage situation. Three gunmen. I need to take them all out before they can react. Is it ready? Flexible plates over an MR fluid armor layer. You'll move faster, hit harder, and look scarier while doing so. Ooh. Send it, Lucius. Now. Already airborne, Mr. Wayne. Yes. You know, in all honesty, I love the new Batwing. If you played Arkham Origins, the Batwing in that one was kind of cool. Very stereotypical Batwing. Um, sleek looking, agile, all that good jazz. This one is more heavy armor Batwing made for combat. I like it a lot. Ooh, would you look at that armor? Sexy.
Oh yeah, that's some good looking armor. Well, Mr. Wayne, let me walk you through it. The outer and inner layers of the bodysuit are made of a titanium dip tri weave. It's between those layers where things get interesting. Wayne Tech MR fluid hardens in response to impact. With this kind of shock absorption, you'll be able to put more force into your counterattacks. The liquid armor is more flexible than the fibers you're accustomed to as well. You can use that increased maneuverability to take out multiple foes in quick succession. Ooh. The suit's compatible with the Batmobile's electromagnetic eject mechanism, too. You'll fly out of that thing like a bullet from a railgun. Speaking of which, the new grapnel launcher will pull you skyward just as fast. Don't worry, Mr. Wayne. That suit can take the G's. Awesome. How's it feel, Mr. Wayne? I've activated the AR training program. Should you want to run diagnostics or just break it in? Three now, gamma, one hostage. Time to put this suit to the test. I will do the AR the new suit between is episodes. And more mobile. By getting close without being right detected, now, I can get the jump on them. And let's show this off. Fear monk to take down. Super fast, can take down three people at once. It's beautiful. Man, they said you were quick, but I never saw anyone take down three armed guys like that. Unbelievable. You're safe now. I'll send someone to pick you up. Thank you. you tell me you're gonna find Scarecrow. That son of a bitch needs to be stopped. Let's see, where is it? Up oh, there it is, remote access device. Oracle, I've attached the uplink to the microwave tower. Perfect. I made an anonymous call to GCPD. They're gonna send someone to pick up the hostage. Come on, come on, connect. Love the suit, by the way. Okay, Oracle's so cute when she's impatient. Online. Time to find Scarecrow. Okay. Here we go. I need to use both antennas to identify the micro and radio wave frequencies across Gotham. If I can find both frequencies at the same location, I'll know where Scarecrow is manufacturing his toxin. Microwave receiver, radio receiver. The radio and microwave there it frequencies is. point to ACE chemicals. That's where Scarecrow's producing the toxin. You know, that makes a lot of sense. Jim, I've traced the Let's fear make a giant amount of, That's you know, a chemical substance in a chemical factory. Ever since the evacuation started, just like you asked. Crane must have bought them off. Or worse. I'm in the area. I'll round up my guys and head over. Or worse. Hold off until Ugh. I get there, Jim. I'm on my way. Okay. I'm actually going to land here. Uh, I'm going to end the episode here just because uh, I figure the rest of the stuff can wait till the beginning of the next episode. Um, yeah, looks like I'm going to be going into Ace Chemicals and trying to stop Scarecrow from making his fear toxin in enough amounts to spread over the entire city. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. I'm not really looking forward to it, actually. It's probably not going to be good in there. It's probably not going to be good at all. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I'll see you again next time. Till then, game on.